Hi guys, really quick video. Um, if you'll have seen from my earlier videos, I've absolutely fallen in love with the Avant Zero S3M 3 inch um, racing build. <clears throat> and I've been searching around for the best props. Um, as I said in my initial video, I was using the Rotor X3044, but they were breaking um, every time you sniffed at them. So I, I got in as many different types of props as I could have, really just to test out their efficiency, uh, their durability, and uh, well, how it felt to um, fly. Um, and I've come to a, a few conclusions. Flying feel is very much personal, but these are mine on this particular quad. These are the DYS ones. I'm not even going to talk about those. They're just awful. Badly balanced, uh, break really easily, shit. <clears throat> Next up, we've got the Gem Fan 3035 uh, three um, bull nose. And they say bull nose, but there is a slight um, curve to the tip. And these are actually okay, they're pretty um, robust. Um, they've got a nice bit of flex in them at the tips. Um, and they don't uh, kill your batteries as much as some others, but they're they're nowhere near as good as some of the others I've got in front of me. So <clears throat> that's that one. These um, came up on Banggood. In fact, the name of them actually, I've completely forgotten who makes these, but either way, these are three or three ones. Um, I'll put who makes them in the description. Um, they look pretty interesting. They remind me of the, um, of, of the kind of racing props from uh, Racecraft and, and people like that. Um, they say the 3 or 3 one, but there's a hell of a, a, a pitch um, at, at the beginning. Um, anyway, these perform okay. Um, they're pretty rubbish at the bottom end, um, and they get better the faster you go. Um, so they're okay, and they're again, they're pretty durable. They're not, not too bad at all. But in this company, I'm getting rid of those as well. <clears throat> so that brings us down to three props. So here we've got the new Rotor X 3044T. We've got the new Dal T3032. And we've got the equally new Gemfan Flash 3052x3. Um, now, the Dal is a bit of an unusual one. As you can see, it's got very slim blades. And it's quite low pitch. Um, and it's got a bull nose on it. Now, what I found when I fly when I was flying these are they're they're pretty um, brittle is the wrong word, but they bend easily um, simply because there's not a lot of um, of material to them. Um, but they are pretty efficient for a bullnose prop. Um, and if you want slightly longer flight times, these are not a bad option. They're pretty good at the low end. They're pretty grippy, um, and in my opinion, they lose out slightly at the the top end. So they're a good backup prop to um, to use, and certainly better. <clears throat> than the the older type props, um, which tend to be really heavy um, and, and cut down, you know, four and five inch props. These have clearly been specifically made for a three inch quad. Everything is sized to suit. And if you're struggling for hot motors or your motors are slightly underpowered, um, these are a really good option because they're really efficient and very, very light. <clears throat> the last two of these two guys, um, on the left, You've got the new Rotor X. Um, I don't know if you can see, but the blade itself kind of dips down towards this point at the end. And these are far, far better than the original 3044. Um, I've, I've flown these quite a lot, and you can bend these ones um, back into shape again. Like pretty much all Rotor X props, they're really well balanced um, and they these particular ones give good low end grip and um, have got a decent top end. So these, as it stands, are my current favourite props. But the problem with them is certainly where I live in the UK is they're really expensive. Um, you know, close to four quid for a, a set of four, which when you're talking about a three inch bit of plastic is a bit hard to swallow, especially if you crash as much as I do and destroy props. Um, these are the new Gemfan 3052, so they're a lot steeper pitch, and these have kind of got the uh, almost like the the, the Dal Cyclones, the kind of the, the, the kind of bit at the end, um, and 
I suppose it's early days for these. These seem really, really good. They're not particularly efficient. Um, they are pretty, um, pretty heavy in comparison to the three or four fours, um, but they're a really good option. Um, they give good, good low end, um, low end grip, and they're pretty quick on the top end as well. But the real perk of them is these are about, I think, two pound eighty or something, um, and you can easily get them from Banggood amongst uh, other places. Um, so my day-to-day -day running prop from here on inwards. Uh, my preference is this, but simply I, I, you know, I'm not paying four quid for a set of props. Um, so this is going to be my new three inch prop, which I'll use on my zero. Um, and I'll, I'll let you know if, it, uh, if I come across anything else in terms of um, things I find along the way. If, I'm, if I want a slightly, um, slightly longer battery life, or um, I suppose a bit more agility um, I'm going to use these guys because um, they're really really um, really really lightweight um, and, and quite flexible so anyway I know it's been a bit of a boring video on propellers but I spent a lot of time mooching around looking at three inch props um, and as of now these are my favorites um, in that particular order uh, but in terms of the ones I'm going to run it will be these guys simply because of cost and they're good enough that they're not going to uh, break the bank. Anyway, hope that was useful. Cheers guys. Thanks. Bye.